What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a no comply tray flip. So foot position, I set up like this and you can adjust for comfort. What you want is like a tray flip position with your front foot. You wanna point it a little bit more vertical so that it's easier for you to step off. And then your back foot, you want the ball of your toe. And I can't emphasize this enough. I struggled with this trick. I couldn't figure it out. Couldn't get the consistency for the board to come around. Have enough air time. Trust me, the power comes from the ball of your foot. You need to use the ball of your foot to get the most power you possibly can when you step off the board. So the first person I saw do this trick was Amaric Nakas. He's like a French skateboarder. This had to have been about 2010. Fast forward a couple years and we have featured parts on Batty Life if you look it up on YouTube. Another person that has this trick good is David Gonzalez. He does it seemingly effortless, like every try. What I've noticed is he uses the ball of his toe. I don't know if he'll like say that in the trick tip, but that's very, very key. That's something I picked up on that I'm giving you guys so that you guys can learn this really quickly. I always thought this trick was ugly and doesn't really count as a real trick because you got to put both feet on the ground to land it. And then I landed my first one ever, a 2018. Luan Oliveira, he's got him good too. He does him to nose manual and then let's go. At first playing around with this trick, you'll look silly. You won't know how many steps to take. You won't get the footing right. You won't do the step off right. You won't get back on the board correctly. But you just got to play with the cadence. Watch other people do it. They do it a specific way for a reason. Try and model yourself after that. It's very easy for the board to come back and hit you in the shin or worse. A way to protect yourself is to slide back. Picture that bail where you don't even ollie and you just send the board flying. That's exactly how you do this trick. And then the rest is patience, watching the board rotate and paying attention to the cadence of when you need to jump back on the board. You're not gonna know when to jump back on the board just by looking at the grip tape. You really gotta play with like timing. People swear this trick is easy and they can do it every single try, but play with this one 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. DM me on Instagram or join my Discord where we talk more about skateboarding, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bitch, I wake up, no stylish. Fresh as fuck, I put it on no up, I